We see these kids throwing at incredible speeds. They throw uh, in, with using techniques that certainly put their shoulders and elbows at risk. I think we're expecting too much out of our younger athletes and it's, it's driving them uh, to do things that their body just can't tolerate or, or isn't ready for at this point. It is kind of scary how these injuries are moving into a younger age category than they ever used to before. And what that tells me is that they are being pushed either by themselves, by their parents, unfortunately, at times, or their coaches, uh, that this is causing more and more of these problems. We really have to pay attention to the kids, and if they're having a pain in their elbow or discomfort in their elbow, we've got to back down. If a young man or young woman is playing 12 months a year of baseball or an overhead throwing sport, their likelihood of getting injured is probably six or eight times more than if they just played nine months a year. Towards the end of 2013, I started getting some pain in my shoulder. I threw two innings, I threw very well. Throughout the night I was fine, all of a sudden I woke up the next day and it was like, I couldn't even lift up my arm over my shoulder. So you're keeping up with those sleeper stretches. It's usually multifactorial, um, things that predispose pitchers to labral tears and pitchers will often describe a change of mechanics uh, and there can be an element of overuse and fatigue as well. To adhere to pitch counts, uh, don't overuse an arm, it's just not worth it. We feel that all upper extremity youth athletes, and that's volleyball, swimming, baseball, even tennis, should probably take three months off from that sport. Cross train, play a different sport, do nothing. You know, you're a kid. I think we really want to try to avoid that knockout punch where you develop serious structural damage at a relatively young age either to the soft tissues around the joint, like the labrum or the shoulder, the labrum of the hip or the rotator cuff, uh, or the ligaments in the wrist itself that lead to lifelong changes or permanent structural damage such that you're jeopardizing your ability to play recreational sports in high school or college or with your kids as you get older. I think that's what we want to protect.